Hello, all of you vain, gloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to Pine Pass, where today we have some problems to solve. Um, one of which, turn off anarchy. I saw trees on the road again. I don't even know where that was. Ooh, look at that traffic. Yeah, that's, there's rocks, there's trees. It, it's, it's because of the anarchy mod always starting by default. I'm convinced of it. Like, those shouldn't be there. And they pop, like, I get rid of them but they pop right back up. Um, yeah, there's, there's a tree. Just fallen tree. Some, some boulders, you know, boom, that car just passed through a boulder. Like, nothing. No big deal. Um, yep, there's, there's another tree. I know I could use move it, just kind of wiggle the road, and that would get rid of them, but that would also break my zoning, I think. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. I'll just, I'll just delete them as I see them. I thought that was a tree in their backyard. Nope, it's just a shrubbery. Um, so anyway, yeah, problems, lots of problems. Uh, one of which has subsided at the moment because the temperature has gone up. But just as I launched the game, uh, we were running at about 512 megawatts uh, for heating consumption. You can see we're, we're, we're good now. We've got like, you know, 100, well, 93 uh to spare but obviously when the temperature drops that becomes a problem so we need to go all the way across the map whoop, over to here and realize that yeah we're kind of out of space for uh our existing plant so we're gonna expand it not in my original plan uh for what we were gonna do with this land but you know sometimes your plans have to change oh, oh i have an idea on uh there we what did I, I, I've already forgotten what that was. 13, 12, I'm gonna bring it out. Same difference, same same distance. Just to get a little symmetry, we're obviously not gonna be able to get the exact same number in over here. Um, we're gonna start with just a few, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven away from the edge of the road, it looks like. So we'll go ahead and I'm just gonna, we've got the money, just gonna get several of these in here. And that will give us nice capacity for a while. We're also uh, getting close on uh, electricity. So we are keeping everything geothermal in this city. So I'm going to throw in one more of those. And then, well, after that, we'll have to figure out where else we're going to go. So that's problem number one, is that we were just experiencing a lot of a lot of issues with heating it. Problem number two, I've kind of already solved between videos. You can see there's a, a few extra garbage facilities dotted around the map, uh, recycling centers, uh, waste transfer facilities. Uh, there's one or two up here as well, a couple of recycling centers and uh, a couple of waste transfer facilities. Uh, we, we were having a massive, massive garbage collection problem, especially in this area. Uh, but it seemed that all the garbage trucks were being dispatched over to here, leaving the rest of the city complaining about garbage pickup as well. That seems, that seems to be solved. Um, one thing I can't remember if I've done yet or not. I did. I took the high-rise van off. Um, there's no reason to have a high-rise van over here, to be honest. Um, it, it just... It, it makes no sense. Uh, this is kind of out here on its own. It was meant to be a high density city. Why have the high rise ban? I mean, we could maybe, maybe actually there is some merit here to not doing the whole area and having it kind of scale up since we do have some low density stuff here that is going to cause us to lose a few homes and offices and things. I think I'm okay with that. In fact, if I speed up time, we should see some of these. Though I don't know. I don't think any of them had really gotten up to level 5 yet. Yeah, nothing up here is level 5 anyway, so we're not going to really lose anything. Uh, land value is an issue over here. I'm going to guess that would be parks and the lack thereof. Yeah, we'll need to add in some parks and things to bring up this land value, but that's... We're going to do something else that'll help with the land value, and that's get some meaningful transportation over here. So we've got this hill right here. Um, if we look in our train heights view, 
you can see that you know it's fairly flat. We do have some terrain changes here, and then it starts climbing pretty quick. And that's kind of why I ended this road where I ended it. I am going to bring it around a little bit farther, um, just so I can have a collector coming back here. And then we can have local roads off of this, but we're going to have a train station back here. Um, and I think before you know, I do anything else, I need to figure out a road layout for over here. We're not going to zone it just yet, though we might do some today, since we do have a unemployment creeping up. We, we may tackle a bit, just a, a little bit, um, but I want to get a road layout in place so that I know roughly what we're working with. In fact, I think I may bring this on up. Let me, uh, look at our trains again. I yeah, I think it'll be all right to bring this on up and I can adjust that if necessary. Uh, it is a bit high and I don't like that. So I'm just gonna grab a few of those nodes and maybe, okay, stay up, there we go. Bring those down to train height. Yeah, that'll work. And then we'll have a train station kind of back in this corner. Um, in fact, do we have, what type of train hubs do we have? We have a bus, train, tram. It's a possibility. Uh, a train metro, I think that might be our better solution, but it is in a collector road already. So we may need to bring it there. I think the train station's on that side. Yeah, we may need to just attach this here. Uh, it might make it a bit of a challenge to bring in uh, the railroad because it is going to be coming from over there. And I want, don't really want to have to do a really sharp turn here at the end. So we may have to rethink that. And then these are multi-platform. We don't need that. Metro, monorail, train. Uh, I'm not really going to do monorail over here. And then metro, train, monorail, tram. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit overkill. Uh, we're going to go, we're going to definitely go with this one. Um, and we'll figure out where to put it exactly in just a moment. So it's just going to sit there and complain for a while. I wanted to bring it in, though. So which side's which? I guess the easy way to find out will be to try to attach tracks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's already occupied. So this side is definitely the train. Uh, and that side's Metro. Very similar. Very, very similar buildings. But yeah, I guess you can kind of see that that would be a train building, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's just there for me to know that I need to spin that around when we get to that point. I am going to come up with some sort of road network. I wonder if I shouldn't just bring this collector on over into this collector. Sure, I should. I absolutely should. Uh, but I do want to, once again, keep an eye on train. Never mind. Uh, there is none to speak of. We can go, like, here and make a curve. I, don't, I just don't want perfectly straight roads everywhere. Um, just because I don't want them. In fact, that's that's kind of straight, but not really. And then we just need to figure out basically our road layout up here. We can worry about down here later. Um, so let's see what we want to do. We do have a bit of a dip here. I wonder, is there any use in grading some of this out? Um, like if we select that height... That does clean a lot of this up, but then that puts that road down there. Uh, yeah, that, that's pretty significant. Uh, we could smooth that out. Maybe that's the play, is smooth this back out. A lot. A whole lot, apparently. Uh, let's make the brush really hard. That'll push that up. And I'm using a really big brush on purpose because I want to get a big area covered at one point. Uh, and yeah, that'll work. That'll work fine. So let's see what we want to do for roads. So I guess this can just be the end of the line for this thing. Um, but the angle that it's at will make bringing other roads in here rather difficult. But I don't want this to just be a dead end if I put it going this direction and not having any other roads connected. So let's see about getting it right.
right in here. I know I need to flip it around to like that. No, boy, that does not. Yeah, it snaps. There we go. So if we have that there, then we could have a local road, just barely. We'll be able to fit a local road coming off of that. Um, so let's see what that would look like. First of all, how long is this thing? It is 1575. All right. So if we go out. Oh, OK, never mind that. Oh, I got to leave more space here, though, because I've got to get the metro underground. So we'd have to go out like another 1575 before we try to do that connection there. Oh, that's fine. But then we can just do some longer blocks over here for a bit. Yeah, that'll work. That's the basics that I needed to get in just to see where the train station was going to go. So let's get some water pipes, heating pipes underneath these roads and then get the train and metro hooked up. Though to hook up the metro, I think we will have to finish laying out uh, all the neighborhoods to see where we are going to put our metro stations. So that gets that done. So the first big challenge is the train line. Um, I am going for now, despite the fact that we have massive unemployment, because uh, we're going to bring the train station in over here, uh, and it's going to have to tunnel, so we're going to need a, a pretty big run that's just empty back here. And I want to bring it right here off of this road. So we're going to eliminate some industry, and by some, I mean all of it for now um we we will find a new home for industry um i'm thinking that up here could be a little industrial park uh and maybe right over here maybe some right here uh and that would should take care of our industry but that's gonna be something that gets dealt with later so we are going to redo these roads and i really should have taken this bus lines out of there first because now okay let's let's put those roads back so that I can easily get those bus lines what was that this way I think I don't remember uh, but hopefully now I can just get rid of these stops and that will continue on its own just fine uh, over here we're just gonna go just a, a plain old train station of sorts uh, but first I need to remember that we were going to change all of this and I think that this road is just going to become the end of this area For now we will keep the industry roads so if we bring that out with all of our snap dues turned back on and that will come out there then we can bring the railroad in tunneled under there uh, what station do we want do we want to do like one of these Cool cats that have multiple lines. That might not be a bad idea since we will also be connecting it to over there. So which ones are on the ground? Two platforms, two inside tracks. I don't really need the inside tracks, but the two platforms could definitely be handy. That way I can get two different lines coming in here. And that is a nice, nice looking station. I, I like it a lot. As parking, um, I think it looks good up against the highway uh, and it'll fit into how we're going to redevelop this as commercial and offices. Um, speaking of redeveloping those offices, 53% we probably can get away with just employing people in commercial and offices. So that gets that train station in place. That gets that train station in place. Now we need a train to service it. The train line that is coming up here to uh, Sterling Davies Lumber. Uh, it's really hard to see that because against the snow. But, ooh, losing money. Uh, that train line runs down here through the mountains and over into the ore industry and then out this way. And then it turns and comes out this way. That is going to be reserved for cargo. In fact, I'm even considering adding a cargo station over here just to ship goods uh, over to this area for commercial instead of having a bunch of trucks. Uh, we may eventually do that, but that's not a today project. What is a today project? It is this rail line 
here. You can see it curves all the way around the river and then heads out here by the lake and goes off that route. That is going to be our passenger rail and the two are not going to combine at all. I do not want to mix my cargo and my passenger. So I think we've got this little peninsula here. We talked about this in the last episode where I could easily bring off a line that way, bring off a line that way, and then bring it across and then split again, follow the highway, split again and follow the highway. I really wanted this turn to go this way because now we're going to have a, a really sharp turn coming into there. But if I bring this up right by the highway, it shouldn't be too bad. So that's what I want to get started on is getting this rail line built up and for now I'm just going to find the node go as far away from it as I can get away with make sure we're not yeah there we go make sure we're not stuck to just being on the ground we were and this isn't going to want to go straight is it there we go now I got it straight just be sure I don't let go of that and we'll adjust that. That looks terrible right now, but we'll we'll get it taken care of. What I want to look at are the train lights here. Now we certainly have some challenges to get this up here, don't we? Um, big, big challenges. Uh, but to start with, and this is going to kind of seal the fate for this land over here, it's just going to be devoted to trains. Uh, we've talked about using it for development many, many times, but... I think this kind of seals the deal for us. I want to just mirror this that to the other side and then just bring it out a little bit. Oh, I, can I have that view while that's open? Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, so let's try that again from there to about there. Just close-ish. And then I want to have some offset. I don't want it right against the highway. So we will move that out. Uh, maybe about 50 meters. I think that'll be a good separation. Yeah, that's a good separation. And that works. It did make a bridge segment in a couple areas. Did a couple funky things to the train, but uh, nothing that we can't deal with. And then I want to use the same mod, but the create curve portion of it and just connect those two. Uh, I want to tell it to be on the ground. There we go. Uh, definitely did some weird things there all things that we will fix uh we're gonna slow we're gonna bring this up higher so that the bridge is actually taller uh and will actually become a bridge farther back but that gets us started so now i want to get this out of here and i want to do it so that it's not a really sharp curve i will add as as close as I can get anyway. Um, let's bring it back off, not as far from this highway, and bring that down. It, that's not ideal, but they would be slowing down to come into the train station anyway. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's okay. Now I wanna parallel the highway again to about here. And then I just wanna eyeball line these up. It's going to be about there. Maybe one more. Oh, that's good. And then again, we can just use create curve. Oop, oop. That is connected. Now we just have to get this over here connected. Um, and I kind of want it to start coming out back here. Let's turn off this mod. And turn on anarchy. I uh, will leave it off and see if I can do this without anarchy. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. So we, if we start like that, actually, if I just create that stub and then use the mod, what do we come up with? That's, that's fine. That works. It's fairly gentle. This goes straight on. This comes out to the side. Cool. We, again, we have terrain issues to deal with and elevation changes and stuff like that. I'm well aware we are we're going to deal with all of that. But first, uh, we are going to tunnel over here. So let's get rid of this. Let's see where this is going to come out. Let's go into here. Make sure all of our snap twos are on and then bring this down as a tunnel and see what 
that looks like. It's never going to tunnel because that's on. Let's go back up because I don't want it to be too deep underground. There we go. And then what's the longest tunnel that we get here? I'd like some track to be up on the ground. Yeah, let's go about that. That should be good. And then we need to make a tunnel over here. That is, again, just as long as I can get it. Which is gonna be right there. And then we go into this mod and we hold shift. Now we can go underground and make that connection. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Turn that off, that's a nice gentle curve. I'm gonna go ahead and set up our train line to run back and forth between these two stations. Oh, except I did not make the beat in the middle. I knew I was forgetting a step. Uh, hold, hold that thought down there, uh, train line. I want to, now this is where we're gonna need anarchy. And we're gonna need to be above ground, there we go. So I wanna get this come over to here and make a nice looking connection. Um, I don't know what's happening there. That's terrifying, but uh, they should technically be connected. Ugh, yikes. Um, okay, we can find out if they're connected or not. Uh, we will kill that and then try again. And yep, they're ugly, but they're connected. Uh, that's all it's for. Boom. Done. Training. Um, we will bring our bus service back over here. In fact, I may even do like a bus terminal since we have two lines that kind of go close to that. That might not be a bad idea to put like some sort of bus terminal in over here. We'll investigate that. Um, that is something we will check. For now, we've, we've got to get this connected. This train... I guess we'll let, for now, our inner city trains come in down here. Um, that will change eventually, and it will be over here that all the inner city trains come in. But for now, we can allow inner city trains. Of course, inner city trains can't get here yet because we have not finished. So we're going to go there, and then we're going to do the same thing here. Just bring that up. And then turn in and keep off and see where I can actually get a nice connection. I don't know that needs to be that long. Yeah, that'll work. And then hopefully this actually is connected. Uh, one way to check that is see if it can go from both to both. And it can, though you can see uh, we are staring into the void. I square that off and then back up the blue and red ones. That should fix that for the most part. If not, we can just go in to move it and grab it and wiggle it a little bit. And that usually solves the problem. Just grab each side, wiggle a bit, and you're good. And then just double check that everything is still connected. So we can go that way and that way. We can come in that way and we can come in that way. Awesome. So, for the first time ever, Pine Pass has train service for passengers. Uh, so now we just need to go through and get all of this sloped out. And I took a short break for uh, some water, because you gotta stay hydrated. We are gonna upgrade all this, whoops, maybe. <laughs> We're gonna upgrade all this into bridge segments, all the way back to the junction. And then we're gonna do all the way around these two junctions up to where they join in. And that last little bit there. Actually, no, maybe not that last little bit there. Uh, we probably will have to have that as a bridge once we wind up uh, sloping everything off. So we'll make all of that bridge. And then we should be good to get started. I'd like this little segment to be on the ground, though. All right, so we know we've got some challenges here. We're going to start from this side. And we're going to get our slope tool and come through the intersection. That is a significant grade. 
and all the way down to here. Nice and flat there, but then we get into really tricky territory. That is 4%. That's already a bit much for trains. I'm going to bring it on down. 3, 2 is still a lot for a train. Like a lot. You really don't want to go over like a 2% grade, honestly, for a train. I don't know that we have that luxury here. We may just have to say, hey, it's a video game and be okay with it today. Now, where is this actually an intersection at? Like, where do they actually join? <laughs> Is it here? I can't really tell. Well, we'll find out if this says it's connected or not. Okay, uh, that's where it is. And then we're gonna go to there, and then we're gonna come around to here. We will have to hit this a few times since we're going from two different directions. So way down there, we have a 16%. There we have a 24, but the rest of it's all three. And we come out to a 1.9. That's much better. Um, that is, that is something that, that I think I can live with. So maybe we go a little farther back this way on this side. And I know we have like dug into the ground and made some ugliness there. We're, we'll deal with it. We will deal with all of this, uh, and make it better, Jude. Uh, so let's, no, 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 stop that. How is that even still selected? I don't even know how that's still selected. I, I clicked out of there entirely. How how was I able to do that? I don't know. Uh, so let's redo this one and see if it just can be adjusted this way or if we're going to need to go farther back or not. So we've only got this bad one here and that's 41%. Uh, you know, 45 degree angle for a train. That's That sounds fine. Um, and then that, of course, messed up this side because it had to bring up that side. So that is our big challenge of the moment is getting these two sides to be fairly equal. So let's see here. Is that at the same elevation as that? It is not. That is really that is that big of a difference. Wow, that little slope is that much of a difference. Okay, so um, let's do this then. Uh, let's commit back in with this, slope this right all the way back to where our tunnel begins. Oh man, okay, all right. I see you game. Um, this is in real life would be unbelievably expensive because we are going to have to make this all bridge. Can you turn off, please? So I can upgrade my. So obviously, I'm not going to have just this big lump of terrain sitting by this, this side here. That would be tragic. So why did that not get rid of? Is this under here? Not bridge? Ah, that's what it was. All right, that just, that's so just astounding that that is that big of a difference in elevation. I, I would have never guessed. It just didn't look that big of a change. Like, that's all now flat. That, that's bizarre. Okay, so at least now we know uh, where we can now slope from and we should get better results. So we will once again come through here all the way back. Actually, we're going to go just to there for now. 3%. Still a little too steep, but it's video game and we're going to live with it. And that stays at 3.2. And now we'll just do from here to here, which shouldn't change at all. It should stay exactly the same. Well, that's 9%. So that... That changes some. Now here I will try to smooth this out a little bit. Um, bring that brush size on down and soften that up. Just so this doesn't look as hideous. But with a major train project, that you know, ground does get built up, removed, blasted, all of that. It, it does happen. And this is way cheaper than building out 
yet another massive, massive bridge. Let's level the train right here and make this a little bit easier to soften back down. Now, if we soften this edge, we should be able to get something that looks a little bit better than the results that we were getting a moment ago. So soften out this whole big bump that we made. And that doesn't look too shabby. We see trains already running back and forth. So we have a few other issues, like namely what's happening there. Um, but this is all intersection stuff um, or node controller stuff. So if we go there, that's not where it joins. Where does it join? It joins there. Okay. Wouldn't have thought that, but fine. And honestly, okay, no, I'm not okay with how it looks. Let's say I think I'm okay with how this looks, but I'm not because of where that's coming in. So let's see if we can't start things off and make it a little bit better by bringing some of these way back. That's as far as that's going to be able to go because that's where the next node is. That may cause issues in and of itself. Yeah, that can't go back any farther. So, okay, uh, let's reset that. I really don't know what it was sitting on, but we're going to just kind of wait. Oh, yeah, reset offset. Cool. Um, so instead, we're going to grab move it and try to get this node under here. There we go. I think that's what I've got. Yeah. Yes. Bring that out just a smidge. And this should help us somewhat. Yeah, that dips down in a very precarious manner. Um, way more than I would expect. And then we can bend this out a little bit. And we still have the tracks overlapping one another. Let's bend it out a little bit more. Bring this out just a smidge more. And then bring that curve in some. I think that'll do. And then I'm going to turn on snapping and see if it absolutely destroys everything. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. In this case, it did not. So yeah, why do we have still that really sleep? sleep? Really sleep stope is what I was about to say. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of bizarre. I don't, I don't think that needs to be like that. That looks better. 2.6. Again, not ideal in the real world, but hashtag video game. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be my fallback for all of this. So let's get this pulled out. Just let's turn snapping back off. Let's get this pulled out just a little bit. Give ourselves a little bit of a curve right there. And that looks all right. Uh, I just want to make sure the trains are indeed able to get through through all of these changes that we just made. Uh, so this can go there and there, cool. And then that can come in and that can come in. Seeing the train go through, we know we're good there. Here we are not. You can see that I don't have a node, so it's not, right now it's a bit too extreme to be connected. So we are gonna have to adjust that back down some. Bring that in, I don't really have a lot that I can do. So what we're going to do instead is back this out completely. And then as we did earlier, I'm going to just make a connection. Uh, once I turn off the mod, I am just going to make a connection about here. Uh, make sure Anarchy is off. So this is somewhere that a connection can actually go. And we're just going to put a little nubbin in right there as we did before. And then use our curved or create curve to do that. And now that should be connected. It's not. I can already see that it's not. Uh, hello, transfer manager. That's not the one I meant to click. You are not connected still. Oof. All right. Try again. It's fine. You know, I'm going to come a little farther back. Like that. I'm going to 
bring this off a wee bit farther here. So let's go like here with a parallel track and then connect there. We can see that's connected. And then once again, E and two create curve mode. Boom. Done. And that'll also let us uh, get a slightly better approach angle here. That's not really that's an airline term. Um, yeah, 1.4. I I can live with 1.4. Can you live with 1.4? I bet we can all live with 1.4. So then I just need to check right here, make sure this is connected. Uh, click this. This is just the easy swipe. You see three dots. You know it's connected. And I'm pretty sure we did down here, but I don't remember because that was more than five minutes ago. So we're gonna double check and uh, do it again. Yeah, we're all we're connected up. And we've got the train going back and forth uh, between those two stations. It can also go out either direction, no matter which station. Well, this doesn't send trains out, but this one does. So that gets a good chunk of what I wanted to accomplish today taken care of. Um, we just need to do a little bit with adjusting terrain. It is an excessive bridge, uh, but a necessary one. Same for this, not exactly happy that we've got that long of a run as a bridge. Did I see something over here saying it was done emptying? Indeed, a cemetery. Uh, so let's just come in now and try to make this, clean up this mess that we made as best we can. I don't know that we're gonna be able to get a lot. Thankfully, there is a bridge segment under a lot of this. So we might, we might get away with one here. I can go under that as well to pull some of this back. Though if we get too close to the highway, we'll wind up just making some uglies by the highway as well. This is probably going to take a couple passes. I think what we'll do is level like that. And then bring this back up. That's looking all right. That's looking pretty terrible. Uh, let's do the same thing here, but be very careful because we do have the highway right there. Just kind of boop that a couple times. And not the worst, not the best. Definitely uh, not one of my biggest strengths is making rail connections and highway connections and interchanges of any sort. We've established that a long time ago, but I think it's looking good. So let's go check as my chair rattles because I just adjusted my chair. Let's go check and see uh if we're actually getting any utilization on this, even though we haven't hooked up to a Metro yet. And yeah. Wow. They're just driving all the way over here without this even being connected to the Metro. That's unbelievably impressive. And those are some pretty full trains. I'm gonna watch this for a minute and just see if I need to go with a bigger train. Uh, so I'll be right back. So what we have happening, and you can see it right now, this station at the bottom just filled up quite substantially uh, because a train came in. Um, I changed the color of this as well. We're gonna go with a nice teal. That way at the trains in the line, that's what I wanted so that I can see the tourist trains easier. Uh, every time one of those pops in, you'll see here when this guy pulls in, that's gonna jump way up. So even though it's sporadic, I think there is an argument to be made to increase our capacity a little. Um, so we've got 240 right now. We've got an option to go to 400, 300, and or less. So I'm going to go up just, I've never seen this number go over 300. So we're going to go with a high speed train on this and hope for the best. So now I just want to get in some sort of road network in the rest of all of this so I can see where my metro stations are going to be and build out the metro. So I'm just going to do that real quick um, and you'll see the results uh, in just a second. And that gives us a nice road layout for the area. Um, this in the middle has been set aside. You can just barely make out Got a park area here. We may do something different than a park. We might do like some retail um, with maybe the mall or something like that, if it'll fit. You know, let's look and see if it will fit, actually. that I kind of like that idea of having that big, giant, honking mall here. Oh, it doesn't fit, sadly. It's all right. Um, 
It might have been a nice place to have it, but we can do maybe like some of these and some of these and make a park around it. Maybe make this a, a walking, like a pedestrian area um, and, and bring in some value that way. It also will help raise land value around here, but that's all for the future. Today is all about mass transit and I want to look at Metro placement. So this area here is going to be served this area is going to be served by buses that come up to this metro. Um, and that's kind of the idea that I want to have is we're going to have one for this little neighborhood, one for this neighborhood, one for this neighborhood, and one up here. So let's let's see here. If I bring in a metro um, about there-ish, which I want to kind of go in more like that just to make the connection easier. Let's go right up to this corner. So that'll serve this neighborhood. And then we want one that will serve this neighborhood. Well, we already have some city services up this way. So probably not the worst idea to go there. And then we want to service this neighborhood. Um, What do we have zoned where? Uh, this is all heavy residential. So let's go kind of up here to this commercial and then we can rotate a bus line from there. We're going to lose a few properties, but that's okay. Or maybe even right up here by the hospital. Eh, there's not quite room for it by the hospital. Yeah, we'll go right here in this. That will disturb some of the residential, but not too bad, I don't think. And then over here, we have some offices in the corner. Um, and that is going to be where we put our next one is right towards this end. And then we've just got to connect tracks. Um, and for that, we don't want to be on the ground. We want to be underground. And we're just gonna make a loop uh, that loops around and we'll have a line that runs clockwise and one that runs counterclockwise. This connection down here though, okay. Uh, we need to do something different here. I can't have this road. Which is unfortunate because that looks silly. Maybe instead what we could do is just bring this in like this and not have a connection there. Yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. So uh, first things first, we want to get a tunnel. Uh, this is building a bridge. That's fine. We're going to build a tunnel. There we go. And again, just want to get... A little space we're gonna we're gonna take it all the way to the edge there and then same over here we're gonna just get as close to this edge as we can with the tunnel not ideal but it'll have to work and then we just need to connect all of this up I'm gonna bring this up a bit and then around ah these roads are gonna make this bit tricky that's a little bit of a uh, sharp departure angle but I think the metros will tolerate it okay and then that will come to about there and then we'll use our curve tool to make a nice connection into there this one I'm going to make my curve first and get that pointed roughly at that station and then we can just probably get a straight shot into there that's lovely this one's going to need to kind of come over and then around. So we'll bring that this way, just a skosh, and then we'll start bringing this one up to meet it. Actually, I might be able to just do this one shot. Yes, lovely. And then over here, we need to bring this up some, like about there, and then that should go there just fine. Perfect. And then here, I think I can eyeball with the curve road tool. A nice connection there. Um, I guess I forgot to put water pipes down here. I did. Let's do that really fast so that we've got water to all these stops. Cool. And you may have noticed I've tried to break myself out of just the same, just boring grid over and over again. Even up here, I broke the grid up by changing its orientation and then kind of left us a few little gaps here we can have some walking paths and things like that down here it is a grid but isn't a grid it follows around there we do have our biking paths all throughout so let's get 
our metro lines in, and then we can wrap it up for today. Uh, because now everybody will have mass transit over to the train station so they can get to the other side of town quite easily. So we will have one line going that way. We will have another line coming back this way. There it is. And right there, just going to change the color of those two real fast. Uh, and then I'm going to let it run for a few minutes uh, and see if we need to adjust uh, the cars that are in usage. So I'm going to let this just, just run for just a little bit. See what we get. I'm really happy with the number we have on the train. But let's see what happens. So I've only let this run three or four minutes uh, so far, and we can already see here on line two, we definitely need to address, this is a busy stop, and this is a somewhat busy stop. And what happens is we wind up not picking up everybody there. So we do need a bit more capacity. So we've got a 150 right now. Um, honestly, I don't wanna use an airport. I think this one at 204 will be just fine. So we'll get that going, and then we'll look at line number one, which, may have the same problem. Yeah, we've already got more than 150 up there, and that is at the train station. Uh, so they're using that, and this is the one that goes straight into the city. So of course, that's where that busyness is coming from, and I think the other one is coming around this way. Um, so we do need to get a little bit more capacity there. I just wanna watch and see what our numbers really get up to. So I'm gonna give it just a few more minutes and see if we ever get over that 204, and then we'll know uh, that we're good to go on that. And yeah, we, we just did go way over 204. You can see we just picked up 150 people and there's still 150 left. Um, that hit just at 300. Um, every time a train comes in, it, it gets, the, there we go, slammed. And boom, instantly, that's another train full right there. So I think this one, we need to go at even higher capacity. Um, 450 maybe? Uh, we might be able to get away with 400, maybe even just 300. Um, let's go, let's go 400 for now, uh, because as we fill this all in, we're, we're definitely going to need uh, a bit more capacity. We may even add another stop up here, uh, once we get this pedestrian district filled out. And you know what? We are going to make that a pedestrian district instead of a park district. Um, let's go ahead and formalize that just so I don't forget. We're going to go with the smaller, uh, brush because I don't want to it's gonna cost us money just being a pedestrian district uh, so we're gonna want to address that in the very next episode we'll probably just hyper focus right here and done Empire pedestrian area um, I like the name maybe that's what we should name this part of town it's just Empire I kind of like that idea right now it's Forest Heights over here um, we have gotten some upgrades, not a lot, but we do see that we have some transition happening here. Uh, but again, we're, we're struggling with land values, um, big time. So we'll need to get some parks and things like that in here. We don't have, we have a parking lot. We've got a little statue or snow thing there, a little wintry thing there and a little wintry thing there. Not nearly enough so we are going to need to remedy that but that'll all happen in the future uh i think for our outro we're gonna we're gonna take a little train right here there he is I'll slow down time I'll pause that there we go and that's gonna do it so until next time i'm brandon reminding you to stay vainglorious